Scientists claim 536 AD was the worst year to be alive. John Brown of uh, Daily Caller reports, another disaster, another volcanic eruption, many that have taken place uh, in these past 2,000 years. This is something that I, not, I never knew of. We all knew of the Pompeii, Vesuvius volcano, 79 AD, but this one was unknown to me. A massive volcanic eruption that set famine, plague, economic upheaval, all this chaotic survival mode, the year 536 AD. They say it was the, first in human, the worst in human history. Now, how can that be the worst in human history when we had a super eruption 74,000 years ago from the Toba volcano that almost wiped out humanity? Only 2,000 couples, anthropologists say, survived that. It was called a bottlenecking of humanity, and that very few survived. Now, according to historian quoted in Science Magazine, that's what he thinks. Harvard Workshop he and his team revealed that a recent study of the Swiss glacier gave them newfound information. Examining ice core samples, the team of scientists led by medieval historian Michael McCormick and glaciologist Paul Mayowski determined that the volcano in modern-day Iceland erupted in 536 AD. That's less than a century after the sack of Rome, the beginning of the Dark Ages. There was a resulting ash plume that covered much of the Northern Hemisphere. We saw the Iceland volcano that erupted in 2010, covered most of Europe. It stopped at the border of Greece, but it was obviously going to be a disaster if it was any more eruption in the ash flow on Europe because it would have, have affected the uh, breathing, the uh, plant and animal life. So thank goodness it stopped there. But this was the Iceland eruption that affected the Northern Hemisphere. It weakened the sun. It caused global temperatures to plummet over one degree Celsius or 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit. And they said it was the coldest period in over 2000 years. McCormick said it was the beginning of one of the worst periods to be alive, if not the worst, year. Within the decade, two more eruptions further worsened the climate. It spread crop failures and famine. One Byzantine historian remarked that the sun gave forth its light without brightness. It was like the moon, that's how dim it was, during the whole year. Can you imagine, the sun as dim as the moon basically nothing coming through. So how was it that the temperature only dropped about 2 degrees Fahrenheit? That's astonishing. I would assume that it would have been more. The Irish Chronicles noted that failure of bread from the years 536 to 539. Beginning in 541, the so-called Plague of Justinian swept through much of the Eastern Roman Empire and 35 to 55 percent of the population plummeted. It plunged in Europe and it plunged Europe into, of course, economic stagnation. By examining lead the lead deposits used to make silver coins, the study deduced that the economic consequences would extend for a hundred years. A hundred years after that, the 7th century AD also saw the rise of uh, Islam and the decline of Byzantine Europe. But uh, that's what happened at that time. Uh, so I don't think it was the worst time. It was one of the worst times, obviously. But can you imagine uh, such a small eruption that only caused a two degree uh, dimming, two degree uh, decline of temperature? caused such a 55, up to a 55% depopulation, and also a 100-year struggle to come back to the way things were. Unbelievable. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, 
you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.